What's up, sports bettors? 15 MLB games on Tuesday, and sportsbooks have started to release odds. So once sportsbooks start to release odds, there's often a lot of great bets in the opening line. So when sportsbooks first post odds and early action comes in, you'll notice line movements and oftentimes very profitable bets on the Odds Jam Positive Expected Value betting tool. So again, what this tool shows you is just data-driven MLB picks, how to find the best MLB bets that actually have a mathematical edge that you can quantify. So the first bet we see available is Athletics Mariners, 9% profit margin. It's on the top row, so you scroll over and look for the bet in bold, which we can see is first inning total runs over half of a total run, plus 124 on FanDuel. So this is a true, this is the best bet currently on Odds Jam with a 9% profit margin. So that's better than the return of the stock market that you're gonna be getting in one day if you bet on this at plus 124 odds. So again, you know, it all boils down to finding value as a sports better. So if we look at the Athletics A's or Athletics Mariners game, first inning total runs, we can see, you know, FanDuel really is an outlier, right? Caesar's pricing this at minus 105, Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, their opening odds at minus 102. So this is an amazing bet that we want to be all over as a sports better. And you can see I have some bets on the total already, but right here we locked it in. Max wager, you know, Fandle gave us was 48.40, but regardless, went ahead and locked it in. And then you can add a bet to your bet tracker by clicking this. So that's the first bet we're on, 48.40. So not a particularly large amount, but it's an incredible bet. Early opening lines, 9% profit margin at plus 124 odds, right? You always just look for the bet in bold with a circle around it on Odds Jam. That is the sharp, mathematically profitable bet that you want to be on as a sports better. And you can see the value here is ridiculous, right? And you always, as a sports better, want to be looking for value. It's all that matters. You're not going to win every bet. So when you're able to get incredible improvements in the odds, like being able to get this plus 124, you know, you have a very sharp bet, right? That is a fantastic bet that you're on. And that's how you become a profitable sports better. So we can see that Pinnacle, you know, they're pricing this at minus 102. So 26 cents worse than FanDuel is what they're giving you. So minus 102, minus 114. So they still have the no runs first inning, the nerfy favored. But what you can do is remove the VIG or remove the juice. So minus 102, minus 114 was their market. So 16 cents of market width. So a pretty tight, efficient betting market, right? Only 16 cents of width. So if you remove the VIG or you remove the juice, you can basically, you know, see what their model is implying the win probability for the yes run first inning is, right? The way that sportsbooks make money, FanDuel, DraftKings, whatever, right? Is they charge the VIG. They charge the spread. They charge the juice, right? Plus 160, minus 190. That's a market, right? They're equal and opposite outcomes. And you can see, you know, they're not giving you plus 190 here. They're giving you plus 160. They're not giving you minus 160 here. It's minus 190. So this is a market with VIG baked into it. So what this calculator will do is remove the VIG, remove the juice, just to show you what the true odds are for a wager, which we can see here is plus 106. And on FanDuel, we were able to get this plus 124. So that is the best bet currently for tomorrow. Um, and then the next bet we have is Reds Dodgers. Yes, run first inning as well. A lot of early discrepancies. You know, we're getting this plus 100. You can see every sports book has this favored minus 123 to minus 130. This is definitely a bet that we want to be on on FanDuel. Yes, run first inning plus 100. Profit margin 6.38%. And I was able to bet slightly more, which you can see right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Right here at plus 100, they give you slightly, slightly higher, you know, betting limits, you know, $60. So again, like sportsbooks, they don't take unlimited amounts of money on bets. You know, kind of depending on your account, they may give you more or less, but you can see for the Astros game tomorrow, they'll give you a max wager of 402.10. So even though these profit margins on Odds Jam can be pretty big, right? That's why, you know, nobody really has the incentive to want to bet on sports full time because these sports books can, you know, lower your bet sizes if you're using Odds Jam, you know, to make money and find great bets, such as this yes run first inning on the Athletics Mariners game at plus 124, right? You can't bet unlimited amounts of money on it. So the final bet is under seven runs, 
very tight market width again all three of these are very very tight market width plus 160 on DraftKings so we can see right here the max wager they gave me for this one is um 152.84 so we have the profit margins we have our stakes for every bet 152.84 60 dollars 48 40 or whatever it was we have the profit margin for every bet so we can quantify mathematically what is in dollars the profit margin of all our bets and it's 15 bucks right you take your profit margin percent you multiply it by your stake and this will tell you hey your bet is nine percent profitable and you're staking 48 40 so that's 436 in value and profit margin quantified in dollars on your bet so this one actually has the highest profit margin in dollars because DraftKings allowed a slightly higher stake than these two yes run first inning bets. So again, as a sports better, it's all about the odds, right? You're forming with Odds Jam, placing all, just going down the EV page, hitting all these bets. You're forming your own, you know, portfolio of mathematically profitable bets. They all have an edge. Not every bet's gonna win, but you know, if you are consistently placing bets with odds jam, all of them, you know, positive EV, you will see your profit go up over time because you have the edge over the sports book, right? It's like a coin being flipped and it's landing on your side 52% of the time. That's a coin you wanna flip. It's the exact same thing in sports betting when you are getting great odds, great prices, the number, the numbers, the data are in your favor. So again, if you went like 50 and 50 betting at plus 105 odds with a $250 unit, you would be, you know, up $625. Just going 50 and 50, breaking even, 50 wins, 50 losses, plus 105 odds, you're up 625 bucks. 50 and 50 at minus 105 odds, which is only, you know, 10 cents away, plus 105 to minus 105, you're down 600 bucks right? And that's why it's so critical. Like when these jumps are 30 cents, minus 130 to plus 100, like this makes massive, massive swings in your profitability over the course of the long run. So a bunch of bets. Hopefully you like them. Let's make some money.